Hi there, my name is Melissa St. Ode and welcome to Simple or Not Kitchen. Today we are baking up treats not for us, but for my favorite four-legged furry little friend, Fetty. We are making delicious little dog treats that your dog is going to love. These treats are super easy to make and you only need three ingredients oatmeal, a banana, and peanut butter. We're going to start by taking two cups of oatmeal and grinding it up a little bit finer in the food processor. You can skip this step if you want, but by doing this, you'll get a more flour-like consistency with your oatmeal. When the oatmeal is a little bit more like flour, we're going to go ahead and add one half of a cup of peanut butter. I'm using an unsweetened natural peanut butter. And then we're also going to add one banana. I'm using a pretty good size large banana. And then we're going to go ahead and mix this all up in our food processor. You can, of course, do this by hand. I just find that it's easier to put the food processor to work for something like this. And when it's finished, you should have a nice soft dough that's not too sticky and is pretty easy to work with. If it is a little bit on the sticky side and you're not able to work easily with it, add a little bit more oatmeal. And just like if we were making cookies for us, we are going to go ahead and roll out the dough and we're going to cut them into shapes. You can of course use cookie cutters to do this, but it's not necessary. If you have one of those cute little dog bone shaped cookie cutters, that would be the ideal cookie cutter to use for these cookies. However, if you don't have one, your dog probably will not care what shape these cookies are. They will come out so cute. I like to just use a glass and cut them into circles. Then I'm going to take a chopstick and just push a little circle into the middle of the circle so we sort of have a little donut shape. And then it's time to bake our cookies. We can do this a couple of different ways. Some recipes call for baking them at a lower temperature, like 250 degrees for an hour or so. I actually prefer to just cook them at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. We want them to come out nice and crisp. And when they're done, they should look a little something like this, nice and crisp and golden brown. And by the way, February 23rd is National Dog Biscuit Day. So it's the perfect day to make these special treats for your dog. And as you can see, dogs love them. And my dog doesn't care if they are overcooked a little bit or whatever shape they are, he'll just gobble them right up. And there are so many different types of recipes that you can use to make dog treats, but this one is so easy and it's so fun and it doesn't take much time at all. If you give it a try, let me know how it turned out. For more recipes, articles, and video, go online to penalcentral.com.